got a sense of humor that can crack smiles on clouds and brighten up my day, make your way for light. She brightens up these dark tunnels inside of me. Jokingly, one day she gonna tell me roaches are related to vampires. And I'm like, what? <laughs> she said, reason being, because roaches are so hard to kill, like vampires. And roaches are afraid of light, like vampires. But hey, she is my flower, and she can make bees bug out. Yeah. She can make bluebirds get bear hugs to blackbirds. They may bear my name at the bark of another green tree. Just to spread the word that a new flower's in town. It's like she's got this beat going off inside of me. She's put this itch in my palm. Every poem I write seems to be centered around how me she keeps her eyebrows. And sometimes I find myself those things that macho men said men should never do. Like watching the cooking channel. <laughs> and writing poetry. Man, let me tell you, you thought about getting rid of my red nosed pit bull and give me a fucky little pool. Someday, right, me and Cinnamon would meet at this corner by this white picket fence with the grass behind, right? And we would kick off our sneakers and roll up our blue jeans and we would just walk barefooted down this unpaid dirt road and she would have the blanket and I would have the basket. We'd always find ourselves on our backs, bending the blades of grass with the sun in my face. And there I was apologizing to the wind and the rain and the rocks. And everything in life that I have a bad mouth for life, she didn't seem to go my way in. Her chest was like a nest in the best place to rest my head in. Her hand was in my hand and her t-shirt matched my t-shirt. And we both smelled like mint and lemongrass and pollen and fresh baked bread. And it was just a statement to the world that she is my own and I'm is her own, man. <laughs> And on our way home, we would collect apples and berries from the surrounding bushes and trees because my baby was going to make me a blueberry pie and apple jam. And she did. And y'all better not go home until I said this. But it takes it fucked up. <laughs> but you know what? I liked it. Because I know that pine jam was touched by the same hand that holds that hairbrush. And when my baby be trying to imitate her favorite singer, and she tried to sing one to her favorite song and bless her heart, and y'all better not go home until I said this. But she sounds fucked up. <laughs> but you know what? I like it. Because I know those notes where the tongue she was holding for a hero, which is me. And some men wish they had a girl like this, but that's a big if. And you keep talking, but the point you miss. She's not a perfect temper to me. She's close. You know what? I like it.